Bear is. How are you on psychometry? I don't do it. You won't <laughs> touch it? No, I always say I won't touch it, but I haven't done it. Actually. You haven't done it? All right, well, this will be different then. <laughs> <You're all right. laughs> yeah. Okay, what we're all going to do is pick, pick some. Does anyone here have an item of jewellery, a photograph, or anything like that linking to spirit? No. Nope. There's enough of you for this to work. Okay, right. Just to remind everyone, though, anytime you're working on psychometry, it's, it says it in the title, it's, it's linking via a psychic connection until you get spirit anchor in, and then it becomes mediumistic, okay? Yeah, and so, has another message, that would be really Yeah, and it has to be someone who hasn't already received the message, okay? So, who here hasn't received the message? Right, we're all going to just pick someone we're drawn to. Pakita, um, someone for us. Put all the hands up. Oh, hands, yes. hands, hands, hands up and hide. Do you want to work that one first? Do you want to grab some fine somewhere you need to work with? Oh, well, no, I didn't mean a couple. Can I take it off the chain? Madonna, would you understand this? The way, the way this feels for me is I'm, I'm just drawn to this being given in like another type of capacity. Does that make sense? Um, this is about you being well thought of. That's how it feels for me. Okay. Okay, because I, I feel like I want to acknowledge either children all coming together here to contribute to give you this. Okay. <laughs> Because I'll I, I tell you what I'm getting from here. I'm getting a sense of uh, like um, a, a marking of an occasion, yes. like Mother's Day coming up. Yes. A marking of an occasion. Yeah, okay. Um, <coughs> and, and it's a bit like, um, not, not that you're forever in my heart, but you're close to my heart. That's how that feels for me. Okay. All right. Uh, not that you haven't got one. <laughs> Um, would you understand that there was either a, um, a losing of a similar piece of jewellery or, or something like this that you hadn't had before that you wanted? Yeah. Because that's significant in yeah. why this was chosen specifically. Okay? And I thought that more than one person would have gone and chosen this. Because this was seen before it was bought. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then, would you understand that there's a gene lane that connects with this as well? G with the gold. I'm just getting the G, I'm getting, I'm getting the initial G. I'm not sure. Okay. okay, and you would understand that this wasn't expected from you, you were talking about this. Yes. Okay. Because I feel in some way it's touched your heart because I see you shedding a tear and buy it. Okay. Now, wherever this came from, I just get this sense of um, you wouldn't have expected that person to have had that thought in that way. Um, yeah, that's probably right. Okay, all right. Would you understand this also in memory of someone, please, as well? Yes. Okay. Because it almost feels to me like I want to acknowledge like a mother or a maternal link here to it as well. So forever in my heart. Is that all right? Okay. All right. Now I also know that I wanted to bring me healing as well, please, because it would have come at that time where it would have been much needed as well. Okay. And the tears come because you're blown away for two reasons. It's the connection to numbers and also the connection that it was thought of in that way. Okay. And that's what I get from that. So I say thank you very much. Following what I've got with these two, I wanted to take two. I'm being greedy. I want to give two people. I'm so sorry. I wanted to. Sorry if I refer to as a couple, but I wanted. I felt very strongly spoke of you. I know you've given me something in this hand. Um, and I can feel it's like a coin, but it's not an up-to-date coin. In this hand, I'm getting um, the number 10, which I feel is 10 years, that this person has passed. And in this hand, I'm getting the number 5, and I think maybe 5, I may have gone a bit 5 years that have passed. They're not of value, what I have in my hands, but they are very, very valuable to you with the history they hold. Um, <clears throat> this one here, I pick up a, a grandfather, and I feel that um, 
there's a game, and I'm not sure if it's the, the right word. My, my grandfather used to call it Sharp Hapenny or Half Penny, and it was like a board that you used to do um, this with it, with the pennies, and it used to throw up the board. So he keeps referring me to that game. Do you understand that? You don't. Okay. He keeps on saying November. November was, was the, the worst month ever you could have ever faced. He's got a lot of emotions about November. Can you take that? Okay. I don't know if it was linked with this one. Maybe I was just getting with this person that he was there with you all the time mm -hmm. through it. Um, there are lots of tears. He's also telling me, you're not quite out of the woods. Okay. You hold this as a crutch. This you will always carry with you and you will never put it down anywhere because you, when you get those emotions, you look at it and I can do this. Can you understand that? So this means a hell of a lot to you in your heart, not available. You can understand who this gentleman is if you've got to come to him. And I'll leave that love with you and give it back to you. Is it a half a penny out in my hand? I don't know, I didn't look at it. It is an ad thank you very much. Okay, this one, I have an example. I tried not to look at it, but when you actually went to give it to me, the chain, I did say to you, I don't want the chain because this didn't belong to that chain. Um, you've only had it five, either you had this item five years, or the person has passed that this belongs to. You've had this item five years. Okay, I feel sorry, I've got it, but this item is in memory of this person. This person didn't give you this item, but you got it for yourself in memory of this person. Mm -hmm. So this actually doesn't belong to the person I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to clarify that. That did belong to the person right. that I was talking about, but this doesn't. Yeah. You did my good psychometry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm coming to your classes. <laughs> um, I'm really chuffed with myself. I've never done psychometry, so I'm really pleased. Okay, I have. Um, I know it's still because I still work, but I didn't actually see what it was. Um, I think, I'm not thinking, sorry, this person tells me that whatever this is, we used to do it together, and you used to joke about things, and you, you were just like inseparable. You were like twins. You were like, you know, you bounced off each other all the time. I, I know I'm looking at you now, I'm sort of looking at you in a psychic way because your face is saying I'm a bit confused. <clears throat> she gives me December, December, she, I know you're going sort of like the, the, the good book, but she's going December, you can remember the December. It was fun, but we did have a few problems in December, do you understand? Yeah, definitely. Okay, and then she's also referring me to um, the 11th. And the 12th of November. Okay. Can you help? Can you? I don't like the uh, carry bag. You should, well, you, can, you can take it because you you understand. She's also telling me the shoes are C R. I'm going to spell it. I'm not a very good speller. C R A P. I'm not saying the words. The shoes. Get rid of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Put them on and looking in the mirror, apparently, and she's laughing and she's going to get rid of them. Okay. Yeah, nice. you understand those shoes, don't you? You think they're quite all right, but she said no. There's a few. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. But can you stand tall? There's a situation around you that she believes you know you're right. Stand tall and don't back off. Yeah. Yeah? I totally get it. You get it. Do it, she said, because you're right. And I give this back to you. I don't know what it was. It's something to do with what I don't know what it was. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, whilst, whilst I'm holding this anyway, obviously it's a gentleman's ring, okay? Uh, I'm one of those people who do point out the obvious before I actually give you a communication. <laughs> It'd be like me sort of standing here with a brooch and going, oh, I think it comes from a bloke, right now. Uh, but, but I'm aware whilst I'm holding this, their character of who they are, I'm aware my voice is starting to change also, so they would have had a stronger accent than what I've got, okay? They, they would have had this broadness to their voice and this strength to their voice. They would have been someone who was quite confident, surrounded by the people they love most dear, okay? I feel that I've got this... <coughs> Feeling that I'm aware my body doesn't feel right. I'm aware it feels quite weak towards the end. I'm aware from the waist down seems to be causing me major issues. But 
before my mobility goes, I'm aware I want to be carrying on, sneaking around. I feel like if I can get away with one quick trip to the kitchen, I'm off. Okay, That's just how they work. They've got such a loving and great personality that they were your world. Okay, As much as for whatever reason, I keep being told that there wasn't enough years. I feel that I should have had another 10, 15 years here. I'm aware that they hid a diagnosis, okay? They, they hid so much which was going on around, but they're just saying they're sorry, but they love you, okay? They, they, they keep... They're trying to draw my attention, so where am I going? That is like a good morning church here, why? <laughs> I've got three photographs with inside Wimbledon Church for whatever reason. Yes. yes. Oh my God. Right. Fair enough. Right. Uh, uh, wow. That was really strange. I was thinking, no, most people travel from Wimbledon. Why am I back? <laughs> it's like I went the wrong direction. I'm in the wrong place. But they, they just, this, the gentleman just wants to let you know that he's here, okay? I don't feel he's left your side just as you would have never left his, okay? And it feels like I'm, I'm not just his love, I'm his carer in so many ways towards the end, but he says thank you, okay? And as I said over there about someone being allowed to keep their dignity, he said he weren't just allowed that, he was allowed to keep his sense of humour, his strength, he was allowed to be the normal pain he always was, okay? <laughs> but what he does is say, he keeps, he keeps drawing me to pictures or writings which have been done also, okay? And I'm not sure, I don't believe them to be done by him but he keeps drawing my attention to them, okay? So what I am going to do is leave his love and most of all, his respect with you. Thank you very much for coming here and sharing. The okay, before we all do scatter out, please do a big, big thank you to Michelle Scott. fantastic audience you've been patient you've been understanding and you put up with my sense of humor so thank yeah. you and big well done yourself <laughs>